if we think of AI more from a ethic and compliance uh, standpoint, which is obviously a, a big matter, right? What's your point of view or recommendations to to pharma uh, when it comes to ethic and compliance for AI? Yeah. Well, in, in pharma, ethics cannot be uh, an afterthought. Breaking things in pharma breaks people. But it's not a risk we can take. So uh, ethical considerations are hugely important. There's different uh, aspects of it that we need to consider uh, when we're using an AI tool. First one is about transparency. So we need to be um, transparent about the fact that we are using AI and why we're using it and how it's being used. And this is something that MSLs and, and, and reps alike uh, should be able to explain. They need, they need to be able to, uh, to, to tell to their clients how AI is being leveraged and why it's a good thing. Um, the other part of it is uh, training. It's, um, important to train um, everyone that uses AI and mm -hmm. uh, what it is, what it can do, what it cannot do, what are the limitations, and um, uh, understand uh, that their uh, judgment uh, remains paramount and uh, that they are orchestrator. They're moving um, from uh, doers to orchestrators. That's a, It's a great tool to uh, do uh, more of what, or focus more on, on what makes us more human. Right. Um, and, and that's why uh, ethics is, is paramount. Yeah. I like that point of not forgetting that we are in the driver's seat here and that uh, we should remain the architects of, you know, shaping the future of healthcare and so on, as, as opposed to delegate that power and that intelligence to the artificial <laughs> one. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yes, that's right.